welcome to part two of our reflections on the life of the Reverend Charles Whitfield, a very, very significant Baptist minister based in Hampstead who died 200 years ago this year. In fact, as I record this in July this very month. Whitfield was not only a pastor and a leader of a church and uh, an educationalist, but he was also an evangelist, a church planter. I'm here in Beedale in North Yorkshire, the lovely market town that's the gateway into Wensleydale. And it was in the 1790s that Whitfield used to travel regularly to this part of Yorkshire, not Beedale itself, but just up the valley at Middleham. And when he was in Middleham on one occasion, speaking with a few Baptist believers in that village, he met a man called William Terry. Terry had been uh, a notorious uh, ringleader of iniquity, I think was a phrase used about him in, in the area but he'd be wonderfully converted through the Methodist movement. But as he listened to Whitfield preaching, he became convinced of the call to believers' baptism. And so it was in January 1793 that Terry and a friend traveled up to Hamsterley to be baptized by Charles Whitfield. Not only that, but actually at his own baptism service, Terry preached the message. And so Whitfield saw in Terry not just a new convert, not just somebody to help be part of a church in Beedale, but he saw leadership potential. He mentored and nurtured uh, Terry and he ordained him to be a minister. So Terry in Beedale became the first minister of Beedale Baptist Church, a small church that grew and by the middle of the 19th century had more than 100 members in its congregation. That was then. This is now. 2021. There's no Baptist church in Beedale, there's no Baptist church in Middleham and our only Baptist church in North Yorkshire in our association is North Allerton. Many Methodist churches that once flourished up and down this dale as well have declined or closed and we know that many of our Baptist churches, particularly over the last 15 months with Covid, have struggled. Many of our churches have ageing congregations. Some will close unless things were to change over the next 10 years or so. But alongside praying and working to revitalise our existing churches, we know there's also a need to plant new churches, to plant new expressions of church, to pioneer into new places and to find new ways of expressing the Christian faith that will connect with new generations. And that's just what's happening here, again, in Beedale. So I'd like to introduce you to Charlie Hart, who, with his friend Rob Bagley, are pioneering a new expression of faith, seeking for the kingdom to come through Dale's faith. Here's Charlie to tell you a bit more. Hi, my name's Charlie Hart. Um, we have a vision called Dale's Faith, which is to grow church and community uh, here in Beedale, but across the whole of the North Yorkshire Dales if we can. The vision is to encourage people in small groups uh, to get together uh, and uh, to disciple each other and to encourage each other. Um, what do, what will Dale's Faith do? Well, it's basically really just to engage with people. So we're doing that through social media, we're doing that through posts and through videos and get people to think about Jesus. We're doing it through encouraging people we meet and we connect with. We're connecting with our neighbours too. We're also looking to uh, produce resources that will uh, equip people in these small groups as they meet together uh, for their uh, walk with Jesus. Uh, and we also want to encourage people uh, through prayer too. It's not just me, uh, there's Rob who also is leading us and uh, together we just want to, to grow community here where we are, uh, with our neighbours, in our own homes, uh, but also we want to encourage, with, encourage and connect with uh, people uh, much more widely across this area uh, as they do the same. That's our desire and that's what we pray you will uh, encourage us in and uh, pray, pray for us uh, as we do that. Thank you. Inspired by the example of Charles Whitfield and others of our Baptist forefathers and mothers, we believe in these days God is calling us to be mission focused, to pioneer new initiatives, to plant and to replant churches, to revitalise our existing churches to be more mission focused and so we invite you to pray for Charlie and Rob and all those involved in Dale's faith 
we invite you to consider how you might be involved in fresh initiatives beyond where your church currently is engaged to bring something of God's presence, to follow the lead of the Spirit to where God is working in your wider community, maybe to support some new pioneering venture. Maybe in your church you have people who are sensing a call to pioneer ministry or to be evangelists or church planters. Let us know because we'd love to help support, train, equip and mobilise more pioneers, church planters, missional leaders in our Baptist Association. And finally, please particularly pray for Hampsterley, where we do have a developing vision for a community of prayer, a missional community that will be based in that historic church, developing a rhythm of prayer and worship in that place, drawing people on pilgrimage and retreat and to seek God and encounter God in that place, but also to be a hub for prayer and for mission in that part of County Durham and maybe across our region. We've got a developing vision that we'd love you to be part of if you sense a call from God to join us. Get in touch if you'd like to know more. But for now, let's close in prayer. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, you are the missionary God. You pioneered mission by creating this world, by creating humanity in your image, by continuing to reach out to humanity when we turned against you, by coming in flesh and blood in Jesus and going to the utmost lengths to bring us your life, your salvation, your peace, your fullness of life. And so, Jesus, may you do that again, as you did for Whitfield and those in his day. May you send your spirit to move us out of the comfortable places, out of our nice enclosed church environments, out into our communities, out into new places, out to new generations, to follow the lead of your spirit wherever you would take us and see your kingdom come, to see new life be rooted into new lives and new people new places. To the glory of your name. Amen.